Oh, what's going on today, guys? So, I promised I'd make these every day, but reality just kind of means that uh, for now it's going to be once every two days. I figure I'd have a whole bunch of free time with uh, working from home, but uh, I just kind of dive into my work. I get distracted by by the news. I've been reading a lot of news, and um, yeah, still uh, want to try to make as many of these as I can. Uh, in any case, today I wanted to talk about two uh, very specific people, uh, Idris Elba and Rudy Gobert. Uh, the actor and uh, the ball player that were both diagnosed with coronavirus and what that means. Um, I've been seeing a lot of chatter online that are like, oh, how come these rich guys uh, are getting access to tests and we're not? And yeah, that's a correct a correct idea, a correct opinion, but um, what we fail to notice a lot of the times is that those guys showed zero symptoms, uh, those guys seem to be in perfect health, but uh, they had the resources to get tested, and they did, and they turned out to be positive. So what does that mean? That means that a lot of people um, are probably already infected with the coronavirus. So if just because you're young, just because you're healthy, just because you know you, you've been working out doesn't mean you don't have it. So if you have any older relatives or know any, any vulnerable people, no matter how crazy uh, uh, your, your life is, uh, just avoid them for now. Um, I've experienced this a bit myself because, um, well, as you know, I'm a cancer survivor and my checkup, my semi-annual checkup was scheduled for tomorrow, but that has been postponed for a very long time. Um, and I completely agree with it. I've uh, been without any symptoms for the last, uh, well, al almost five years. And, you know, because I've traveled extensively before Saturday, it would be a very bad idea to put me in, uh, well, in a cancer center. Uh, if you've never been in one of those places, it's where a lot of the weakest and most vulnerable people are. So they really must be protected at all costs. So, especially if you're in a large... Uh, urban area, just assume that you've already been exposed. I know it's a tough thing to hear, but um, we'll, we will all 100% get through this. So, what else? Uh, New York has been kind of feeling the, 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 the vibe, so to speak. I um, follow this guy on Twitter, uh, Paul Scalis, a.k.a. the Lindy Man, he has this interesting theory on um, how work shapes our mentality, how work affects our well-being, and there's no better example of that than of yesterday. I um, stepped outside for a bit of a walk at maybe noon, 12.30 or 1, somewhere in that area, and... Grocery stores were empty, and um, the gym was empty. And around 5 o'clock, 5.30, uh, 6 ish, I did the same exact thing, and both of these places are full. Even though we, uh, a, a lot of us are working from home, a lot of us are, um, you know, experiencing this newfound sense of freedom that comes with, uh, the ability to shift your schedule, like we're not quite mentally there yet. So that's, that's that really. Anyway, I am going to go dive back into work. Um, everyone be safe out there. I will try to post these daily. I'll try. I'll try. It's been every two days now, but I'll, I'll try to make a fresh one tomorrow. And uh, as a little side hobby, improve my uh, video production skills because this is still coming from the phone. Well, in any case, um, stay well, stay healthy, and for 
for the love of everything, please avoid the vulnerable population. Okay? Just avoid them. Avoid the old people in your life. Uh, avoid uh, the, the sick for now. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll all get through this. All right. Take it easy.